Hey there everybody, I'm Cosmo the Coder and welcome to my review of July 2016's Humble Monthly Bundle. This month is, well, you'll see for yourself, a bit of a mixed bag. A bit difficult to sort of quantify this one, but we'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So without further ado, let's have a quick look and see what we've got on the table. First off then, our first game is Kentucky Route Zero. Now, this one's a bit of an odd game in, in sort of how it best to explain it. It's $18.99 on Steam and it's basically um, an episodic uh, point and click adventure game set in a what it turns out to be a secret highway that exists underneath Kentucky and basically you go around and you meet a wide variety of strange and interesting characters that travel this actual odd route. Um, it's supposed to be quite similar to games like um, uh, well, it's supposed to be inspired by games, sorry, I should say, but like Monkey Island, King's Quest, and sort of the Walking Dead series. But it's a lot. It's focused a lot more on characterization and atmosphere and storytelling rather than the puzzles and more challenges of skill. It's well, depending on what you look at, it's it's got sixty seven percent over recently on Steam, but overall it's eighty six percent and it's eighty one percent on Metacritic. So it's actually apparently quite a good game. It's the, one of the sort of main criticis criticisms is it can be quite boring because it, it just it focuses completely on story and characterisa characterization. Sorry, I can't even say that word. Put my teeth back in. But more than sort of, like I said, more than just sort of the challenges and skills. So some people like it, some people don't like it. It's kind of a mixed bag in that sort of sense, if you want to put it that way. Next up is a game, game called Satellite Rain. Now, Satellite Rain is basically a, a spiritual successor to the very uh, sort of, I was about to say, <laughs> completely wrong word, a very well-known game called Syndicate. It was actually it's actually um, kickstarted with the same sort of premise that it was a sp the spiritual successor to Syndicate. It's twenty two ninety nine on Steam. It's essentially a real time strategy based, well, sorry, a real time class based strategy game, set in a sort of open world cyberpunk cyberpunk city where you command a group of four agents through a really sort of um, not apocalyptic sort of a um, sort of sort of a Blade Runner-esque sort of city sort of rain soaked neon lit you know the law and law is sort of controlled by all the mega corporations and things it's in the 80s on Steam it's 75% on Metacritic it's it's a game that, uh, again, if you're into sort of the squad-based tactical games, definitely one w worth a good look at. So why not? You know, <laughs> can't say much more than that. Now, depending on how you pronounce this, it's 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 either TIS 100 or TIS 100, but it basically means Tessellated Intelligent System. It's basically a programming game made by the same people who made Space Chem and Infinity Factory. So you basically have to. It's a lot of logic systems, and it's. Um, Essentially, uh, basically, you're exploring a computer system and have to rewrite rewrite corrupted code segments to sort of repair it and unlock all the secrets buried deep within its sort of it, 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 all of it within its systems. It's basically an assembly language programming game that no one ever asked for. <laughs> it's in the high 90s on Steam. It screams to me to the program and me to have a go at because it's it looks quite interesting and I enjoyed things like Space Chem and everything because it's all about sort of building machines and doing things that actually do different things overall but yeah, maybe we'll put it on my put it on my Cosmo tries games list. Who knows, you know. Next up a game that I didn't really hear of before now. Oh, sorry, TIS 100 is 4.99 on Steam. I don't know if I said that, oh, but we'll find out. Uh, right, right, the Red Solstice. 7.49 on Steam at the moment because it's on promotion. It's it's right now it's for 50% off. It's basically a, another squad-based tactical game where you basically fight to, to survive on, um, with up to four, uh, eight players in a squad, or you can have <coughs> eight players on co-op. So it's actually a multiplayer game as well. Sorry, I'm going to quick drink. Hang on. <coughs> uh. Right there we go. We're all back. Basically, it's set on Mars after the year after Earth has collapsed, and you're basically having to deal with various creatures and monsters and things that are taking <coughs> taking a bit of a sort of insult to you guys being on their planet. 
So overall, it's basically you have to survive a storm of different enemies and complete missions and so forth. Again, it's a similar game to Satellite Rain. It's, well, review-wise, it's 78% recently, 84% overall. It's 74 on Metacritic, so it's not a bad game. Maybe not as highly rated as Satellite Rain, but and uh, definitely another game to get your sort of squad-based game, squad-based teeth into. Now, I'm going to try and pronounce this right. Avenum Crystal Skulls 2, or oh, sorry, Avenum 2 Crystal Skulls, is probably the better thing, is, well, you'll see by the graphic style, the style what I'm talking about in a minute. It's 14.99 on Steam, and it's basically, um, it's supposed to be an epic fantasy role-playing adventure game set in a unique, massive world, underground, in a sort of labyrinth of strange caves with dungeons and odd monsters here and there. And you basically explore this entire sort of uh, tunnel system and sort of, well, in the usual sort of RPG-esque elements, explore, kill monsters, level up, and become stronger in order to actually complete the what what that's uh, complete up to three distinct game winning quests whatever those are <laughs> those quests may be basically uh it looks fairly simplistic graphically wise but apparently it's it's extremely well received on steam it's actually um 89 percent overall and it's actually 78 percent on metacritic so it's quite a well received rpg game despite it looking sort of relatively simple but beyond that it, it actually look, is quite well received can't really complain about that. Not really my cup of tea, but that's just me. Now, last month, was this was dangled in front of us. Hurt World is actually an early access game. It's eighteen ninety nine on Steam at the moment, and it's basically um, along the same sort of lines as the survival first-person shooter games, but it's slightly different in that it's focused more on um, sort of creating a survival progression. So rather than when you sort of get past a certain point and then suddenly it's no longer a survival game, you're continuously tested. So even if you level up and improve your equipment and improve things, you've got to deal with things such as raiders coming along, you know, doing all different monsters, different creatures. You can obviously build bases and all kinds of stuff. So it's again, it's another one of those games where you literally can do pretty much anything you want within reason. Um, it's... At the moment, it's only in the 70, 70 percentages in both overall and recent. But bear in mind, it is an early access game and they're still adding to it. So it's always important to try and keep that in mind when you actually do get that kind of game. Now, I actually had to think, look up how to pronounce this game. Cthulhu. <laughs> I'm getting it right. So Darwin's Castle Cthulhu Realms is sadly a card playing game. And I'm not really one for car playing games, if I'm honest, because it, pff, it, it's just not really my cup of tea. I have played Heart, Hearthstone for a bit, and I do dip, dip in and out again on occasion, but overall I'm not a big car play, game player at the moment. Now, it, it, this game is actually free to play on Steam, but the actual full version is three ninety nine, and you do get the full version with this bundle. It's 69% on Steam. Overall, the game is kind of a bit bleh, put it, put it, put it simply. Um, you basically use the cards to drive your opponents insane, or and or to basically have sort of more or more have more sanity points than your opponents when your deck of cards runs out. It's generally considered to be good in terms of art style and graphics, but a lot of people are saying it's a bit boring after a while and so forth. But then to me, that's what card games are a bit boring after a while. So beyond that, I can't really say much more other than it's re it's kind of a sort of a in, in this bundle, to me anyway. Now, the humble original this month is a game called Kopoka. Or, uh, again, I hope hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's more of it's an ex exploration game where you basically play as a bird and you fly freely around um, a, totali a totalitarian... I can't even get that. <laughs> a total literary... <laughs> <laughs> a city, <laughs> basically controlled by um, the government or the you know the, the general sort of leaders of the of the city. Basically, you get to explore the city and overhear conversations that have been going on in this city as you're basically playing as a bird. Now, 
I can't really tell you much more than that because that's basically just the description given and based on the video that you're seeing I've basically seen exactly the same video in that you basically are able to explore the city in a explore this sort of city in a sort of strange minimalist graphical style you're able to see what's going on and generally speaking just overhear conversations now whether or not there's some sort of overall story or not I can't really say but beyond that it looks okay not bad but I'm not going to sort of run out and start playing it you know it is what it is right and that's pretty much it for this month now next month's sort of tantalizer is the call of duty black ops 3 multiplayer starter pack which is a a long a long description of what it actually is um it's 11.59 on steam basically it gives you access limited access to multiplayer in call of duty black ops 3. um how limited that is i can't really say because i it's not really that descriptive but essentially it's kind of them tantalizing you to go and play Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, I stopped being interested in Call of Duty after Modern Warfare 3, purely because I wanted to sort of finish the story with Captain Price and all that, and Soap and all that. So, quite frankly, I'm not interested in this game at all. You know, you can, you can keep it, to be honest with you. It's not a big tantalizer in terms of games for me. So sadly, that's not, I'm hoping that the rest of the bundle will make up for it. Now, overall, this bundle is a bit, well, quiet. It's probably a good word for it. it the games look good, let's put it this way. I, I like the look of Satellite Rain. I definitely want to have a look at that because I, I was a big fan of Syndicate when it first came along. The, the programming, programming game TIS 100, definitely would like to give it a go not really that fussed by anything else if I'm honest Kentucky Route Zero I might try out at some point but overall I don't really I think this is quite a weak bundle if I'm honest you know I'm not for, for the 12 bucks a month I pay to have these games I'm not expecting you know AAA releases or huge games but most of these games are quite quiet in terms of impact you know the, the, none of these games really sort of stand out to me as something that i really want to play or really wanted to to own at any time recently i mean don't get, don't get me wrong i heard of kentucky route zero i heard of satellite rain i heard of tis 100 didn't heard it haven't heard of red solstice or avenum saw hurt world in sort of the features on steam i'm not even going to talk about cthulhu and obviously kapoko is, is an original so it's in general this is actually quite a weak bundle for me now yes people have been saying that the humble monthlies are quite weak anyway because the games sort of are quite divergent in where they are but overall i'm i think this is just the weakest weakest bundle so far out of all of them sadly that is what it is and that pretty much is it for me in terms of this monthly bundle. So as always, guys, like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video and any other videos that I make. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think what I just said. So yeah, like and subscribe if you like. Share, by all means. That word gets That's the best way for words to get around. Dislike if you don't want to. Comment, let me know what you guys think. But in general, that's it for me for this month. Um, giveaway, that was it. I have now closed the giveaway that was on last month's um, Humble Bundle, Humble Monthly Bundle, and have contacted the winner. At the moment, I'm still waiting for a response from the winner. So if you haven't heard from me, then sadly you may have lost, but there's a, a still a chance at the moment that I will be contacting you in the future because, well, at the moment the winner hasn't got back to me. But thank you everyone who entered. There will be further giveaways later on in the year, hopefully, once I get, uh, get the rest of my giveaway systems all sorted out. But uh, apart from that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next month for another Humble Monthly Bundle. Happy gaming.